Alright guys, it is time for an update on VeChain. VeChain is a sick, sick, sicko product, okay? It's probably one of the best out here in the Web3 space because these guys are actually doing stuff, okay? They're not building like a, a small amount of AI to get an AI stamp or a small amount of RWA to get an RWA stamp and then build their brand around that and raise money, right? These guys are established. They've been around since, what? 2017, 2018, these guys have been around for a long, long time and they just keep scaling, they just keep improving, they just keep making new partnerships, right? What these guys actually do, mainly, anyway, is help track and trace products across the world in supply chains. What does that mean? Well, normally you would have a database that does this, but anyone could go in and say, edit that database for the right price and then make something a little bit little bit more like applicable to get through certain borders or whatever right or sell in certain countries and this can be a problem because it can actually affect the global market as a whole particularly if some of these guys get caught so what vchain does it allows you to use the blockchain and actually one of the best uses of the blockchain to have a transparent ledger of all of these sections and sectors of a supply chain and what happens to a product depending on where it is in a geolocation basis, okay? So every single step of a product's creation, VeChain can essentially track and trace and make sure everything is going well. And the good thing about the blockchain is you cannot change it. So if something gets done in China in 2020, uh, in, well, this is probably a bad, bad example. <laughs> I'm not going where you think I'm going with this, guys, okay? <laughs> I was using a random random year there, but carrying on. Uh, if something gets done in China in 2022 uh, and we want, uh, we want to know that, right, that cannot be changed if it's on the blockchain, okay? That cannot be changed. It's going to be on the database. It's there forever, and you can go and see that. And they, unless they're committing fraud live, okay, uh, then it's 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 something that's incredibly beneficial for the world generally, but uh, for the supply chain as well. If we're looking at V Chain right now as an asset, though, we can see that uh, yeah, it's currently around three billion dollars market cap. Okay, it's still looking fantastic for this run. I do think there's a long way to go here. As I said, 40x is not out of the realm of possibility. Some people are expecting to just get to all-time high? No, no. It's going way higher than that, in my opinion, anyway, okay? VeChain has a lot of potential for scaling, okay? And when we're seeing these massive changes around the world, we are gonna want some better transparency when it comes to our supply chains, particularly with food products and stuff like this uh, with the new administration in America, okay? If they're going healthy, they're going to want to know where the food's coming from. They're gonna want to know it's all healthy, no bad things were used in the creation of those products, okay? And VeChain is the perfect solution for that. These guys aren't working with the US right now, but they are already working, and they have been working for a while, with the Chinese government, okay? So, uh, yeah, just the fact that in 2017, okay, so they were probably formed before 2017, but um, yeah, just the fact that they're in partnership with China, okay, and have been for many, many years here, guys, uh, is just, it's a great thing. It's a great thing for the asset. It's a great thing uh, for the supply chain as a whole, okay? And this, as, as just a proof of concept working already in the world, this can only scale, in my opinion, okay? Uh, and it's just, it's a fantastic thing uh, just across the board here, right? So let's go into the chart because uh, that is the worrying part right now. We are in a bit of a pullback, okay? This isn't just VeChain, okay? The entire market is absolutely tanking it down right now, okay? Uh, we are on a pretty, pretty solid support right now in terms of the rest of the market, but VeChain might come down a little bit lower here, okay? Uh, the lowest I see VeChain going as a technical analyst, as someone who's been doing this for seven years in the space, or eight years technically in trading, but seven years in crypto, so we can see here that, uh, yeah, typically with pullbacks, we like to go and tackle that 21 EMA on the daily, okay? Uh, not just with altcoins, but most assets. If they are in a bull run, this 21 EMA on the daily is going to be a key area to watch, all right? Uh, we are nowhere near the end of days where uh, where VeChain bangs it down, okay? But we did say in the last video, right, if we did come down and kind of tackle this line, this would be the worrying point. And if this line holds, great. Okay, if this line doesn't hold, that would be the worrying point for me for this asset. But as of right now, we are still in a healthy uptrend, okay? This is a pullback. It does look pretty bleak. Obviously, don't bang in high leverage trades on this thing, okay? It's, it's, it's an old coin at the end of the day so it is going to be super volatile okay but what i will say here guys 
is uh, yes, when we do hit this 21 EMA, we do have very nice structural lines here uh, that can support us. This is what you want in a bull market, uh, but typically in a bull market, if it's, if it's going to be parabolic here, guys, then this line will be respected. If not, we will bounce just before we hit that line to create that next parabolic curve, etc., etc. right? Uh, this is typically how bull markets behave. I mean, I can show you this time and time again on Bitcoin, okay? That nice curve up. Okay, this is really what we're looking for here. And what I will say is that uh, this is this is performing fantastically so far. Okay, so let's just see how this goes. I'm going to try and stop saying okay now because uh, someone pointed that out in the last video and now it's just bugging me every time I say it. So what we will say here is that uh, yes, the 21 EMA right now uh, is at 3 cent 2. Okay, so that will be a key area, said it again, uh, <laughs> that will be a key area here to watch. We also have this low coming through right here. So uh, what we will do next is uh, look for this high to break. If this high breaks, it's a fantastic sign. We should be expecting to come up to about five cent five from that point. And then if we break that point, the next level will be at uh, near nine cents, near nine cents. So that's fantastic for VeChain. What well, we are now six minutes. Uh, and besides that, there's not really too much else to talk about here. We can go down to a lower time frame for this thing. But if Bitcoin is dumping, then we will see VeChain dump as well. This is just how it works. It has been fairly resilient, I will admit here for this thing. But the four hour, as you can see here, uh, we do have a bit of a gap down coming down to three, six. And we do have this horizontal here at three, five, as we talked about, right? So if you did want to come back down and test three, five, absolutely fine. We're still above very important levels. We're still good. We're still healthy here. So I'm not too worried about that. Uh, what we will say is uh, if it can bounce here, it'll be fantastic. It'll be an extremely bullish sign bouncing on the price action channel. Okay, and then from that point, we will look to absolutely bang it for another wave up. All right, so that is going to be it from me. Have a fantastic day. I will see you guys in the next video. Be sure to drop a like on it if you're liking VeChain. Be sure to comment. Let me know what you think of VeChain. Does it have a future? Is it done? Is it a done deal where it's just going to zero? Let me know in the comments, okay? Because I'm, I'm holding some of this. And if, if it is going to zero, I want to know. I want to know. And I want to know why, all right? Because <laughs> I, I have quite a lot of faith in this coin. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a fantastic one. Cheers.